When Master Evil comes to play And Mama says that it's okay Alex and Josh are stole away And made to watch these movies To stay alive until the day they Wake up, bitch! Wake up! Oh, thank God. I thought it was Master Evil and Josh again. No. Thank God it's you. No! I'm the stuff nightmares are made of! Uh, actually, no. Master Evil, Josh, and the shitty movies we have to watch all the time are the stuff that real nightmares are made of. I'm actually very relieved to see you. Well, I wouldn't get too comfortable, Alex. Because I'm about to hurt you in ways you can't even imagine. Yeah, good luck with that one. Uh, I'm assuming you've never had to set through Monster Brawl or Puppet Master vs. Demonic Toys. Uh, trust me, anything that you have planned, Freddy, uh, pales in comparison. Fuck it, then. I'll just end it quickly. Get ready to die, bitch. Oh, my God. That's right. Fear me. No, 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 no. You misunderstood me. I meant, oh my god, thank you! At this point, death would be the ultimate escape from these movies. Thank you! Wait a second. You telling me your worst nightmare is really having to watch shitty movies? That anything I have planned for you would be enjoyable? Uh, no duh, yeah. Uh, Frederick, pay attention here, bud. There's literally nothing that you could do to me that would be worse than the shitters that, have I, that I've had to set through, okay? I mean, seriously. Have you ever had to try, try and live with a rodeo clown in a barrel who watches your every move? I don't think so. Then you leave me no choice. Time to show you your worst nightmare. I'll send you back. No. No, you won't. Please just do what you have to do and kill me now. I promise I'll be scared. I will be scared. I swear to God. Just don't, whatever you do, don't, don't torture me and kill me, Freddy. Please, don't, don't. Somebody help me. For the Shut love of God, somebody bitch. help. It's time to send you back to watch my worst movie. No. No, no, not, not that one. Hell no. Oh, yes, son. Not the, not the dream child. Prepare what kind of sick to die. bastard are you? Uh, prepare to cry. Now wake up, bitch. Wake up, Alex. 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 Alex, wake up. Wake up, bitch. Alex. Wait. Did you just call him a bitch? Wake up, dude. He's not waking up. No, I, I don't want to wake up. I don't want to wake up. Wake up, Alex! We got game night tonight, and that bear's got a crunch! Get up! You can't escape bad movies! Get over it! You know, this... Wake up already! Wait, who the, who the fuck was that? Alex, just get up! It, it's not working. Nothing's working. He's not, he's not gonna stay up. I got this! Alex! Get up! You are gonna be late for school! Wait a minute, I don't... What? I don't want to go to school. I don't want... I don't want to go to school. Damn it! You mom me again, you dirty bastards! Man, you slept through the entire fucking opening wraparound. Seriously. I had to do it oh, all with him. It was horrible, Josh. What? I had the best dream, and you weren't there? And you weren't there? Neither one of you fuckers were there. Why was it horrible? Because Freddy wouldn't kill me. Duh. He decided that this, this right now, was a, face, a fate worse than death. Okay? But it's just a dream, and at least we don't have to watch the movie that he said we're going to have to watch. So, speaking of which, what is tonight's shitty movie? What, what is it? 
It's funny you mentioned Freddy, because tonight's season two premiere will have you two losers sitting through the bottom of the Nightmare on Elm Street barrel, a movie even worse than Freddy's Dead. You will watch The Dream Child. Son of a bitch! Let me go back to sleep, for Christ's sakes. Surely I can make a deal with Freddy. Why don't you just kill me already? No time! The movie starts now, and don't call me Shirley! Oh my god, it's a movie that starts with an actual film company that people know. We might be onto something here. When I was a kid, if I saw the New Line Cinema logo, I immediately thought it was Ninja Turtles. Ninja Turtles, yep. And as an adult, it was uh, Saw, right? No, that was Twisted, that was twisted Pictures. Twist, yeah, Twisted Pictures, yep, 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 yep. Gotcha. I'm an idiot. You know, they made that design, that Twisted Pictures was created for the movie Saw. That, that, that was, that's where they got it from. One of the traps in the first Saw movie. Hey, I don't know if this is a, a plus or a negative, but this, uh, this one had the lowest budget of all the movies. It's <laughs> actual chalk right there. You know, they couldn't even afford font. Hey, so... Water beds looked funky back then. Yeah, they look jacked. Uh, this actually isn't. Uh, this actually isn't Dan's body, from what I understand. No, it's Alice's. It's neither one of their bodies. <laughs> and both at the same time. Danny Hassel. You may know Danny Hassel from Nightmare on Elm Street Part Four, and you may also know Danny Hassel from. That's it. The hospital he was born in. From his YouTube videos that he's been recently putting out. Oh, wow. Valerie Armstrong. I forgot she was in this. Yeah, r remind me again who she is? I have no fucking clue. <clears throat> you know it's going to have a good cast when Annette Benson's on top of things. They're going so fast, it's like it, nobody's going to fucking care. So... Dan needs to hurry up and finish finish the deal because Alice has got another double shift at the Crave Inn. How long is this body? Jesus Christ. What part of the body are we looking at? Is it I, okay, lower? there's a head. I think I saw an ear. I hope it was a head. Is I the, can't even read the names before it's gone. <laughs> are the titles, the credits, supposed to look like sidewalk chalk? I think so. Yeah, it's it's actual chalk. They couldn't afford like font graphics. Oh wow! So they, they just, just gotta... stop stop go with the actual sidewalk chalk photos, yep. huh? Yeah, yeah, that's what they did. They're not even giving people time to even read what these people did. You know? Oh, they're dude. Those are just like the TikTok videos that you see or the reels videos where they'll they'll be like, "This is my age. This is my sign. This is where <laughs> I'm from." <laughs> and what I like. And then the little bubble will pop up, and it's they'll show it for like a second and a half. Oh, my God, you disappeared. Oh, you're back. Oh, Robert Shea, there's his cameo, right? Just his name. <laughs> Make sure my name's in it. I need top billing. Or I won't pay for this film to be made. <laughs> <laughs> That's the rules. Oh. So it always ends right there. Yeah, his 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 last little gasp, like that's the last little bit of uh, you know, his love juices <laughs> leaving his body. Last time we saw Alice, <laughs> she was cleaning up after a vigorous night of lovemaking with Dan before her double shift at the Crave Inn. We didn't make it clear enough that they had sex in the first movie, but. Uh... Just in case people are curious of how she got pregnant, let's just start the movie out with a really, really long scene that uh, is 
possibly human bodies writhing together on a bed. That is why you should always get your septic tank emptied right there. Never a good sign when your shower starts vomiting (laughs) up at you. (laughs) Last time I saw that happen was in uh, Ghostbusters 2. That didn't end well. She just needs to play happy music, and then the vomit will start uh, making toasters dance and stuff. Yo, love, lifted me higher. So this is a nightmare, so does that mean that even in the dream world, Freddy's got a shitty septic tank? This just looks like a house that I've lived in before. I used to live in one of the crappiest houses of all time. We always had issues with our plumbing. That's what that looked like, was like septic tank backup right there, just yeah. going up into the pipes. Like it was just old rust and stuff. Like they had built debris from the bottom of it that was coming back up. You know how they film this scene, don't you? No, I don't. Why, State why of the art me? CGI. Did you see that? I think they filled a shower up with water. <laughs> they they sealed it off by putting towels around the cracks of the, of the she glass. Goes, she, 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 <laughs> she falls through naked and she's like, oh shit, I'm going to class, ain't I? She always ends up in weird positions like this. Like in number four, the Dream Master, she's like walking to the to the boiler room with a, just her nightie on. Uh, and now she's walking to like the, the freaking Catholic Church from hell. The asylum from hell here, naked. Josh, she's pulling a bit, a bit of Eddie Murphy here. She's doing a double roll, huh? Yep. That's her too, right there. The one that was mouthing. Starring Robert Shea and Lisa Wilcox. And who can forget Lisa Wilcox? The guy's like, I can't. Robert Engel is just about to make his big uh, debut on the screen here. Not as Freddy. All right, it's like they, yeah, not as Freddy. There we go. Loving it. It's like they told all these people to act like you're crazy, and like half of them are trying to be a ballerina, and the rest are dancing. Shut up. I'm trying to do the count before we beat him to death at the club. Seven o'clock. God, can you imagine having to be in charge of feeding these guys three times a day? You have to count them every time before you, like, oh. No, they're just counting how many nuns are down there to get raped tonight. The stress. They ordered one. Looks like they're good. You know, I don't. I don't think that uh, the writers of the movie know how biology works. They must have had the. War- yeah, would they think that um, Amanda Kruger is actually a cat or a dog? She's going to have a litter of maniacs. Right. Yeah. <laughs> like human beings aren't able to get pregnant by more than one man. I don't care how many of them had sex with her. She, uh, Freddie's the bastard son of one maniac. <laughs> On the Maury Povich show, uh, all these <laughs> maniacs are waiting for the, you know, the birth test, you know, whatever. Uh, and the results are back. All of you maniacs are the father. I'm guessing that's the maniac that ended up being Freddie's dad. Yeah, the resemblance is uncanny. Eh, it's kind of iffy. I'd want. I saw out. Robert England recently, and doesn't look anything like that. Really? Yeah, he's got like a big old beard and mustache, and Freddie doesn't have one, so I don't know. Oh yeah, it was, it's, it, well, that's like how you know Clark Kent could never be Superman because, like, you know, he wears glasses and like wears a suit and tie instead of a cape and a big ass on his chest. She's like, wait, is it Tuesday? That's when I take my shower. Yep, it's Tuesday. Okay, I'm good. Man, if she only did, if she like only took one shower a week, imagine the money they'd save on the heating bill, though. The six-day bush. <laughs> wow, those glasses magnified his eyes. Look at that. Wait a second. So the only person that gets to speak at graduations is usually the valedictorian. You're telling me that Dan was the valedictorian? Yep. Springwood, hi. They couldn't. They couldn't hire anybody else. They couldn't afford anybody else for a speaking role. Gosh, you kidding me? All the budget was spent on uh, that sex scene at the beginning. How did Alice get a whole entire new friend group within one school year? 
that's how school works, man. It's the eighties. No, I'm serious. Where were these people in the, in the part four? Like this is. They were like the people that she used to hang out with in junior high, you know, but she got kind of too cool for them. And then all of her friends were butchered and she fell back on them. She got too cool for the cover girl, (laughs) the model (laughs) of the school. Yes, she's too cool for the model. And the quarterback uh, who is also the Val Victorian. Wait, hold on. I just messed up. She was banging him in number four, I guess, right? Yes, sir. Did you see the, the... like ten minute riding scene at the beginning of that movie. It looks <laughs> no, like it's I, like a, it's like an eight foot torso. I missed that part. Head. Yeah, watch it again. What's the matter, Alice? Feeling tongue tied? <laughs> My God! Is the comic book kid right there? Is his name Mark? Is that his name? I'm pretty sure. Yes. yes. He just got a, like as soon as Greta said she had to gnash her teeth, he was just. Thank God he was wearing the graduation gown because he just got the biggest erection of all time right there. <laughs> I've oh, got your oh, oh. He got a present. He oh, it's your it. diploma. You dropped it. But... No, he, he has a present. He wants to go for a round two. He pulls his wing out. <laughs> <laughs> got a I'll present. Another yeah. waterbed. Yeah, surprise. Alice, I need to talk to you. I'm pregnant. <laughs> How could this happen? Well, we've been having sex on the regular for a year now. You know, between the sequels? <laughs> Alice, we need to have sex ASAP. My penis is about to erupt like a septic tank in your house. <laughs> and I'm dead in like five scenes, so let's, let's, let's go. So just don't dream. That's super healthy for you. <laughs> yeah, Alice. Don't like never have REM sleep ever. <laughs> Studies have shown that that's totally good for you. Okay, hold on. I've got something to say here. Okay. Okay. He just graduated high school. He's 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 done. Football season's typically in the fall. You right. graduate in the spring, almost summer. Why is he being introduced to a coach or scout right now? This is either the worst freaking scout of all time because he's like a year off. And typically good athletes are scouted like their junior or sophomore year. They don't introduce you to the player on their graduation day. For Christ's sakes. I believe in a dream demon more than I believe in that scouting scene right there. It's, it's, he was on his way there during the football season, but this is back in the 80s before GPS and everything, you know? He just happened to use road maps, and you know how that shit is. Yeah, his map, when he was going to go scout Dan in spring, when he pulled his map out and it just said, you're fucked. Mm-hmm. Yep. <laughs> this is not even her dad. It's just some, you know, homeless guy. Come on, I'll get you a bowl of soup. He will. He dresses immaculately for a homeless guy. <laughs> He's the one homeless guy that actually saved the money that he uh, scrounged up. Right. Or he's one of them uh, panhandlers that have like really nice cars and huge houses, and that's how they get by. You know, another thing that bothered me about this uh, is that movie? coach getting in the picture. Well, he's taking his scouting seriously. <laughs> he sure fucking is. Uh, part of this part of this movie that really bothered me was like, okay, so she lost her brother, who she loved very much. Like, there's some really heartfelt scenes, especially like when he's talking to her on the bed and he's like, "Why are you doing this?" You know, like you gotta <laughs> snap at it. Like, they have they have some great scenes. Mm-hmm. She just she doesn't mention he's not mentioned one time until the dad says it'd be nice to hear another boy playing in the house. That's it. <laughs> She would she would break the fuck down at graduation that like her brother's not there you and don't that, say like, his name here. Yeah, what like that? I don't know. I'm looking way too deep into a Nightmare on <laughs> Street sequel. I guess. <laughs> the I hidden meaning more, behind the script. Well, I, I just expect more like real realistic situations. I guess. You know, this is the one aspect of this movie I liked. Uh, the whole baby's the, dreaming shit, you know? The day, yeah, the daydreaming shit. The yeah. baby's dreaming, so therefore yeah. she's dreaming. That's good. Yeah. Uh, the baby you know what, knows a lot of shit, apparently. 
and the I'm baby is also anything. the baby is also one of the most unattractive child actors of all time. <laughs> They're like we when we cast this kid, we don't want to distract from Alice. We want the most unattractive child actor available. Let's get this fucking kid. Well, shouldn't the child's dream just be like a giant fucking womb? You know, like it's never seen anything. So how does it know what a jump rope looks like, or little girls jump roping Freddy in the house? <laughs> Freddy's incepting him right now. Oh, he's it's Inception. Okay, yeah, the top duh. is good. The top is duh. good. I'm glad you explained the science of baby dreams to me. Yeah, you didn't know that. That's like the first thing you learned. Uh, Inception. You... That's the, that's that's the definition of baby dreams. Inception. Yeah. Okay. Conception to inception. Gotcha. Ooh, going dirty, huh? Yay! Don't follow. I've never heard someone say the word conception was dirty. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I thought you said conception. No, I said conception to oh, inception. Oh, okay, okay. Hey, that's a pretty good shot right there. Yeah, that is an awesome paper backdrop that they had that there. Wasn't, I, you know what? No, they did good on that. They they blew that up nicely. <laughs> and it's just like uh, the Masters of the Universe movie when they show Grayskull. And it's just like, it's, all it is is just a drawing. Yes. <laughs> she walks into that house, Keanu Reeves is there. Whoa! Wrong movie. Dracula is what I was thinking, but close. Oh. The bloody inferno! <laughs> He's got the worst freaking accent, Eastern European accent ever. It, I, that movie, Bram Stoker's Dracula, is really good. Him trying to attempt an accent ruins it. it takes me it, out. Wait, wait. What's funny is uh, Lawnmower Man with Dean Norris doing a British accent. <laughs> 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 and he did, he wasn't even written that way. He just did it. <laughs> he felt it. That's what he thought the character would sound like, so he did it, damn it. Okay, creepy baby baby carriage. Uh, Let's that, follow it. Yeah, Freddy has a lot of these these things. He killed uh, Will in Dream Warriors with something kind of similar to this. I wonder where he shops at. Oh, he get antique stores all the way, man. He Freddy wants a bargain. All right. Believe it or not, Josh, being a dream demon doesn't actually pay that much. Yeah, I wouldn't. I wouldn't think so. So, how does he afford all the antiques? Uh, well, he's a haggler. Uh, Freddy's watched a lot of, like, that show where the people would start with a paperclip and then trade their way up to, like, a Corvette. Freddy loves that show. Okay. I'll give you this paperclip, bitch, for that penny! If you turn the volume down in that scene right there with her kicking and screaming and that guy, like, turning his head, it looked like you're watching a musical and they're, like, rocking out to something. Josh, this is actually the video they showed us uh, in junior high when they were showing the miracle of childbirth. Uh, doctor? Why does she have a appears, penis? <laughs> doctor, it appears we have another demon child being born. <laughs> Not again. Yeah, it looks like this one's going to be a dream demon. Is that is that pink or blue? Let's go with yellow. This dream demon's coming out asshole first, we need <laughs> It does look like an established stage actor, though. It's shit, and it's full of holes. the hell is her nipples leaking blood too it's a lot of blowback when the nurse doesn't say congratulations uh when the first thing she says isn't congratulations but it's like apologizing and explaining to you why you still need to love your child you know the birth went horribly wrong everything that woman just said that was the same thing they said when my first kid was born so it seems okay. legit okay check this out now this is pretty cool uh no uh, dang it dang it dang it dang it no. uh i where they go back, where she actually goes back to some of the sets from the previous movie, like the restaurant and uh, yeah. the church. I thought she was going back to the restaurant here. The Crave Inn? Yeah. Oh, here we go. Okay, I jumped the gun. See? It's a bit smaller this time around, but yeah. Uh, if I've ever seen a church that needed more help from the donation plate, uh, I wouldn't be able to tell you which one it was, because this church needs... A makeover. 
Yeah, their thermometer stand thing is like way down at the bottom, you know, on how much money they've raised. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. When they have that little drawing yeah. on the board, <laughs> on the, the baby's like, I need a dog to piss on me. That's how he came okay. back in the last one. Okay. What the fuck I'm talking about. Hey, it's Freddy. It's Freddy, baby. Can't get you. Go fucking step on him right now. Game over. That's a face only a mother could smother. Oh my god, he just violated the sweater. Evil dead all over again. Can't keep letting these babies get away with this. He knows how to make an entrance. He knows how to make an entrance. I'll give him that. No dog pissed on him this time, though, man. Twenty minutes in, and Fred's making his debut. I think he's got the most screen time out of all the movies in this one. This is where they really went all in on the camp. This is a really awkward time for horror movies. Like eighty nine slash slasher films were starting to like wane, and they were trying to like you know do something different with franchises. And it's just a weird transitional film in the franchise. They really tried to do something different, and it just completely missed. Just beat him the way you beat him before. What the hell? Yeah, bust that nursery rhyme out, bitch. Let's go. <laughs> God, what are you wasting time for? Oh, no, not another mirror. No, I can't believe she can remember that. I wonder if that was painful, growing the claw back. <laughs> growing it. He was born with some deformities this time. Okay, we should do a drinking game. Every time he says a one-liner like that, take a drink. <laughs> he, do- he has so many shitty one-liners in this movie. I had a key. Why, why is his arm 10 feet long? <laughs> that, that's got to be a callback to the first film when he's in the alleyway. I guess so. I just thought it was like birth pains or something going on here. His makeup oh, is my re- mother-in-law. His makeup is really interesting in this one. It's like, it's wetter. It's, it looks wetter and it looks more bubblegummy. The towel. I'm going to look for her in the towel. <laughs> the towel? She's going through like every towel she has now, going to hotels, just ripping through rooms. Where are you? That watermelon needs to be wrapped up. It's in the danger zone, Josh. Oh, there's a pie tower. Maybe that's what she's talking about. It's the man behind the mask. <laughs> and he's Breakfast. out of control. Three eggs, bacon, and toast for a buck ninety nine. Sign me up, son. <laughs> I don't know, man. If it's that cheap, it can't be great. Oh man, sign me up. That sounds delicious. What is that? I've never seen such a contraption before, <laughs> says every kid. That's Doctor Who's TARDIS. <laughs> Where's the rest of it? Yeah, there's no actual booth around it. And what's that? I've never seen one of those. The fucking swimming pool. Do you Man, high, high dive. <laughs> yeah, that just swimming pools don't exist anymore. COVID killed them. <laughs> what is that? That's a girl. <laughs> <laughs> what are those people doing next to each other without masks on? <laughs> don't they know that's dangerous? Let's go get drunk at the pool. Yeah, let's go let's go drink at the pool where we can slip and crack our head and fall and drown. Alright. I'm not drunk enough yet, but I'll take my little jacket off. 
my little swimming jacket. So wait a second. Dan's Dan doesn't drink. They say he doesn't drink here, but he's got like twelve opened beer cans next to his head. I'm I'm getting mixed messages here. Is there like a a liquor store built like there in the with the pole, like a bar? Is it like an open bar thing going on here? <laughs> yeah. They got fucking yeah, champagne too. I mean, hell. Who's and there's a, there and if you look closely in the background on the right there. There's a guy with a little bow tie at a little cantina bar <laughs> selling alcohol to all the miners. Yes. Where's the blood and guts at? Yeah, so... what? <laughs> that just looked like a gunshot going through. Maybe she just doesn't know what blood and guts are. You know, she's just trying to fit in and just guessing. She's the one that was asking what the phone was and the pole was and bathing suit. Are hot dogs such as uh, a hot item at the Crave Inn that they have to have a neon that says hot dogs? Right. <laughs> we have the best hot dogs in Springwood. Okay? <laughs> They're so yeah. good that we're going to predominantly feature them on a neon sign on the back of the wall here. There was a store I was at that like everything in it was like labeled like little signs for trash, bathroom, I mean, Toothbrush, <laughs> stuff people hang up in their house. It's like I guess, I guess people just need a reminder sometimes what they're looking at. <laughs> Where the hell is my trash can? I'd never be able. To, my house would be filthy if I didn't have a big sign above it glowing that said trash can. It's like he's about to break out in song. This doesn't make okay. This doesn't make sense, Josh, because he he's like. Very anxious, and Freddie's back. He's 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 scared. He's gonna go help his girlfriend. Why is he falling asleep? Because he was drinking so much at the pool. Oh yeah, but they just said he didn't drink. So, uh, I, did somebody get can somebody get the director of this film, Nick Garris, on the on the fucking phone right now? And yeah, I got a couple questions. <laughs> the cartoony sounds, I fucking love it. Ah, there's there's one, take a drink. Take a drink. Every one-liner. <laughs> there's a bunch in this scene. Shift in the turbo, bitch! <laughs> Wait, where would the alcohol come from if Dan don't drink? Take a drink. Oh, take a drink. <laughs> Don't worry about this arm. It was all fucked when I was reborn anyways. Damn. That must be a good year if it can rip people's arms off like that. Oh, yeah. That's like Super. a one-shot down drink. There's another one. Take another drink. Oh, yeah. I think that <laughs> wine or champagne is fermented long enough if it looks like that. Oh shit, I'm back at the pool. Last call. Freddie loves putting Dan in loops. Like in Dream Master, they were in that loop driving around the restaurant. Now he's in this loop. Oh, here we go. A lot of people's uh, favorite kill. Yeah, they edited the shit out of this kill. Oh, I, my, I don't have the keys to my truck. You know what? Fuck it. I'm going to steal somebody's motorcycle. Yeah, I'm taking somebody's motorcycle. I don't even know how I have keys to this motorcycle because it's not mine. Teenage dad-to-be emergency. I need your bike. Uh, I'm going to have to commandeer this motorcycle from you. Who are you? Are you a police officer? No. Springwood Val Victorian. Springwood quarterback. Danny. Oh, teenage Danny, dad. Yeah, teenage dad. Need that and... and- a guy that got scouted on his graduation day. <laughs> I'm so good at football that scouts show up on graduation to take photos with me with my friends. <laughs> he should have known that that motorcycle was more than meets the eye. It's fucking transformer. We need to edit in the Decepticon <laughs> transformation noise right now. <laughs> Just Bumblebee screaming. Oh. 
God. So how does the Emmy explain his death on this one? Because you know he'd look like he'd look like that when he woke up, or whenever they found his dead body. I'm sorry, you don't wake up dead unless you do. Much, I wonder how much money they spent in the budget for sparklers. <laughs> Hey, everybody. I think someone just died out there. <laughs> She's just reaching out and, like, towards the, the short, the fry cook or whatever short order cook over there. <laughs> the I cook, didn't know you cook, felt that way, Alice. <laughs> the cook's like, uh, what can I do for you, Alice? You haven't fired the ticket yet. <laughs> You're putting a lot of undue pressure on me back here. Wanting a hug? Am I supposed to take your hands? What am I supposed to do here? Yeah, because I'm truck... dressed just like Freddy Krueger, but <laughs> all truck drivers dress like that. Yeah. It's a coincidence. It's it's our truck driving uniform. He looked more like groundskeeper Willie than he did Freddy. <clears throat> Floppy hat, bright red shirt. Look. Like... <laughs> like he made so is, himself. Alice, is Alice responsible for Dan's death? Because I understand that was Freddie's voice, but Dan was still moving. Like he was still like, you know, in real life moving. So could she have saved him? It's a good point. She killed him. It was either Kruger or that really weird fucking truck driver. I thought <laughs> something was up when I saw his face was just covered in blood, but he wasn't bleeding anywhere. Wes Craven wore that exact same outfit in Scream when he was the janitor. He did. He did. Yeah. This is the origin story for that janitor. Yeah, he's all, he was a truck driver, and then this, <laughs> and then that led him to like, I need to go somewhere safe. I need to go to Woodsboro, where no one gets murdered. Hey, Josh. Here, tell me who the doctor is. Have you seen the doctor before? You have seen him before, but I bet you don't know where. Hold on. Where have you seen him before? Oh, my God. Is it one of the movies we've watched? No, no. It's it's a movie that I'm I'm almost positive you've seen it, but it's it does it's it's the only other place I've ever seen him. What is it? Okay. Remember the movie The Wizard with Fred Savage? Yes. Okay, he's the guy announcing the video game contest. Yes, okay, yes. (laughs) He's like, Super Mario Brothers 3! (laughs) That's him. Alice, we gotta get you home, okay? This doctor has got to get to the Nintendo World Championships pronto. (laughs) He is really excited about the new Mario game. Like, if really only, excited. If only Alice had a warp whistle <laughs> to get there right now. Use it at the wrong time. Just go back to the world you've already beaten. Oh, yeah. I hated that. do 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 bitch. <laughs> you are fucked. <laughs> Just sitting in there. She's a... Uh... It's okay. I'm getting my prescription filled tomorrow. Yeah, just just, I just fall there. asleep for a couple hours. <laughs> Freaking boyfriend's dead. It's her fault. She's responsible for all of her friends dying in the previous movie because she had the, the the powers to bring the kids into the dream. So she's actually got a lot of blood on her hands. I I don't blame she her does. for not being able to sleep. She does, man. Yeah, she does. Ladies and gentlemen, the ugliest child actor that has ever been in any film. At least he got the hell scared out of him in Jurassic Park, right? Yeah, he was... You know, I'd only seen him in... Like, when I first saw this movie, the only other place I'd ever seen him was an episode of Mr. Belvedere. And he was in a Full House episode. He was the one who had the duck lips, and Stephanie was like... You know, didn't want to hang out with him because he was a nerd, and he, like, did the... Can you hear me good? I can hear you, yes, sir. Good? I can hear you well. No, really good. Hear me well. (laughs) You gonna tell me, drop some knowledge on me, what's going on? 
No, I was just checking. Just checking. Sound check. Sound check. You're like, One, you're, like a, you're like an insecure girlfriend. Is I everything okay? Your, I was keeping you like your mind off of the ugly kid. <laughs> Is everything all right? Can I get you something? Can you hear me? Are you hearing me emotionally? Yes, Josh. We go through this every episode. I hear you. <laughs> Yes, Master Evil. Mother yes. Evil. Yeah. Yes, Master Evil. Yes, Rodeo Clown. Oh, she's crying because the scout left town before she could show her volleyball skills. Where was the scout in that photo? Uh, I thought he was setting up front there. I'm going to set this creepy doll down really quick. Why the hell is she seeing her son at like eight years old or whatever? Oh, there's the scout. How the hell? Hey, how the hell did they get those photographs developed that quick? I know, man. It's like they didn't have the one-hour photo down the street. Yeah, I didn't see anybody go to Payless at any point in this movie. Robin Williams isn't stalking them. Oh, one-hour photo. Fo- I took the liberty of developing some photos for you. It's like, oh, thanks, man. We didn't uh, send in any photos, and we didn't take these photos. <laughs> but, uh, thanks. okay, here's the money. Yeah, here, thanks a lot. Oh, these are on me. I've never... Just grab my friends by the shoulder and turn them around before. Stop walking, bitch. I'm talking to you. Yeah, I'm, t- I'm fucking talking to you. I'm tired of you ignoring me all the time. Or maybe Marilyn Manson. It's one of the two. The DNA test results haven't been uh, sent in, all the- haven't come back yet. No, this is the 80s, Josh. Get it right. Alice Cooper. Okay. Look at those blood and guts. I know. Because I keep feeding my friends to him. Yeah, I'd be like, Alice, you go, you tell us the same story every Saturday. Yes, but now Dan's dead. Don't you see? <laughs> You gonna get an abortion? I mean, what the hell? What, are we gonna talk about this? We're not gonna talk about this. You're gonna go to college, right, Alice? He was in a lot of pressure. That's why he stole that motorcycle and drove into that semi truck. <laughs> Everybody who's under pressure. By that, uh, future janitor. Everybody who's under pressure steals motorcycles and drives head on into semi trucks. Duh. Yeah, Jax Teller did it. Oh my god, too many blood and guts. Too much, yeah, too gory. I, I can't even believe that they slipped that in past the ratings board. How'd they do it? It's like a magic trick. It's like, boom, no blood and guts. Ooh, Phantom Prowler, plenty of blood and guts. <laughs> First that's, you that's, see it, now you know. Since it's riding, they can, uh, you know, sneak it in and not get the X rating. Yeah, it's a drawing, yeah. not well, video. You know, he didn't. They didn't color it in. They hadn't inked the photo yet, so that's how they did it. You know. That house actually looks pretty nice. Was that even the same house from the previous film? I don't know. Is she cutting onions right now? Is that what's going on? I think I have that same microwave today. <laughs> that is a lot of house, Josh, for two people. That is a big ass house for two people, man. Well, her brother's there, too. Oh. Oh, yeah. Well, he's dead. Oh, the mom's there. Oh, wait. He was an alcoholic and probably ran her off because he was a dick. You're such a smart... Kicked her out of the house and let you move in. (laughs) You're such a smart shopper. How did you you know that that eggs and, and carrots were good for people? Don't you know you can get eggs, sausage, and toast for $1.99 at the Crave Inn? (laughs) And if you're feeling a little frisky and you don't care about your calories that day, we have exquisite hot dogs. <laughs> <laughs> and Dad, if you ever fall off the wagon, there's a you can get some really cheap booze down at the pool. Just tell me you're a teenager. <laughs> yeah, if you ever feel like you want to have some some you know a libation or two and you don't have a lot of money, uh, go down to the local swimming pool and Ask talk for to Felix. Steve. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> talk to Felix or Steve. Steve Felix, there you go. She'll pay top dollar. Um, mom, 
I'm gonna show some gratitude, not gratitude. <laughs> One of my friends died. You expect me to gnash my teeth for the paparazzi right now? Wait. So, okay. So this is her living room. They this this house is in Springwood. Yep. Wow. Oh, Robert. there's another Robert England cameo. There we go. Yep. Not the a very tries to explain that it's Robert England without saying it's Robert England, like it's <laughs> not Freddy. <laughs> not a very good transition into the dream world. They like they it was like in the old ones, you wouldn't know it was a dream until like a little bit into it. This one, the music changed immediately and the lighting changed. Is that like Pretty a bad. chocolate mousse, but a vanilla horse? I don't know, but I would love some chocolate mousse right now. Oh, drink. Take a drink. Take another drink. He just did it again. Filet de body. Nothing but the best. I don't know if that counts. It's not store brand Jello. So, uh, Josh. Dude. Yeah. No, I was going to say, uh, isn't he actually feeding her body to her, but they can't show it? Yes, yes, yes. That's yes. what the book says, yeah. Super confusing if you don't know that. It's like, what is he feeding her? What the hell is going on here? I always assumed it was the doll. <laughs> or just Jello from hell or whatever. Who knows? Food tastes so horrible in dreams, too. Oh, my God. It's like you're swallowing your tongue or something. <laughs> Oh, check this stop go animation out. She's uh, she has entered Pee Wee's Playhouse, ladies and gentlemen. This is uh, that's where that's where most of the budget went for this movie, right there. Dude, that looked like Pee Wee's Playhouse. Uh, stop oh my go god, animation. my Greta, my Greta is like way out of date. Oh my god, we need to throw it out. Look at that. Well, it's swelling before, up. Josh, before she throws Greta out, she needs to sniff her first, and then ask her dad if it smells okay. Also, exactly, exactly. Would you drink this, Greta? Eh, leave it in the fridge a couple more days. <laughs> yeah, I, I hate to throw out you know, things, you know. It was full. Almost full. At least somebody didn't use up all the Greta and then leave it in the fridge anyways. Yeah, we, there's just a little bit of Greta left in the carton. Yeah. Uh, I hate when that happens. Well, none of the stuff in the fridge looks like Shitty claymation now. Think we're good, Dad. Okay, so here's another thing. This is so this huge factory is in Springwood, also, but we've never seen it before or heard about it before. It's actually the warehouse that Indiana Jones takes stuff to. Yeah, the, he, this is all archived uh, stuff from Indiana Jones's crusade, uh, you know, escapades and crusades. Freddy only looked at the Ark of the Covenant for like half a second, and that's how fucked up it made him. His face that's started, it, how, yeah. His face started to melt. He's like, oh, yep. bitch. So I guess this movie, Josh, uh, Nightmare on Elm Street 5, The Dream Child, they were like actively writing and rewriting scenes while they're filming it. Yeah. Same thing happened with part four. Yeah, there was like, but yeah, but this one did, there was no writer's strike for this one. So what's the excuse? I don't know, because it just shit. It's like Jurassic Park 3. They I would, like Jurassic Park 3, but they were writing that one while they were filming it too. Like Vince McMahon, this was the first movie he ever did. He just wrote movies like he writes Raw now. <laughs> he's like, you're supposed to go out like to the ring in like 10 minutes and he's changing all your shit before you, like nine minutes before you make your entrance. God damn it! You know what? Let's have a let's have a lumberjack match with zombies. <laughs> I think I think he's senile now. You know they need to put him out to pasture. No, no, no! This is what we're gonna do. We're gonna have a bastard maniac on a pool match. <laughs> <laughs> I want to know how the zombies didn't know to get in the ring. <laughs> like, how did they know they were? They're not allowed in the ring during that match the other day. <laughs> I Good backlash. <laughs> oh, I I didn't even see it. I read about it. All I saw that all I saw was the backlash from backlash. They were yeah. all talking. They were all just like, okay, this is the worst story writing ever. In Miz WWE was history. devoured. <laughs> He's <been Yeah>. eaten. <laughs> 
back to the shit movie. <laughs> sorry we took a sidetrack to a shit oh, wrestling storyline. <laughs> yeah, sorry, we apologize. Now back to the shit film. Oh my god, oh my god, that is plastered with blood and gore. Oh my god. I can't was... watch. Uh, we yeah. need to put up a warning here for all the gore and violence and blood. Look at it. Oh my god. The Phantom Prowler had blue ink on his picture, uh, his coat, you know, and blue it starts with B, and everybody knows blood starts with B, so we're going to have to edit that out. Yeah. And he's holding guns, and they start with G, and gore starts with G. <laughs> The Phantom Prowler's for real. God, Alice, you don't support Duh. me on anything. The way that he just said, tell me more about Freddy. Tell me a story. <laughs> I don't think make you want to hear a, this. Make me a sandwich. Yeah. Tell me more about Freddy, please. <laughs> tell oh, me yeah. to sleep, whatever you do. Okay, Alice, uh, tell me more about this after my nap. Oh, you didn't color it. Don't step away. There's no blood and gore. Let me. This reminds me of the aha take on me video. Some random girl named Alice gets sucked into the dream instead. Like, what did I do to deserve this? No, it's just Alice from Alice in Wonderland. She's like falling down a rabbit hole into Freddy's house. Some deformed <clears throat> girl in town named Alice that looks like a stick girl. Like a triangle head. Damn. Freddie Freddy knew what she drew. There she is. <laughs> he got the gist. Freddie would be amazing at that one game, Pictionary. Is that yeah, what it is? Win, lose, or draw. Yeah, win, lose, or draw. It's Alice, right. bitch. <laughs> it's fucking Alice, bitch. And the guy who used to host it on the Disney Channel with the glasses. Do you remember him at all? Yes. Like, I can picture him in my head right now. I'm almost positive he was in Family Ties. Uh, he was a character in Family Ties, and then he was hosting Win, Lose, or Draw. Well, no, the, best, the, best, the best TV host ever was Mark Summers, man. He, you know, dude, Mark Summers had really bad OCD. He said he had a really hard time hosting that show. We're not even in the same room. We're on a screen, Alice. Okay, hold on one second. So Freddy's Freddy's just basically playing with them at this point. Why doesn't Freddy just suck him down that that butthole from hell and end things for him real quick? That's the houses, the house that is the house's vagina. Yeah. Okay. That looked like. Oh, I was going to get laid for the first time, Alice. God, he's running like fucking Barry from Goldbergs. Wait a minute. So he. Just Simple. fell asleep with. Oh, he woke up. He woke up. Okay. You want to know a real nightmare, mother? This is how I'm going to look when I come out of you. Yeah. Do you want to know a real <laughs> nightmare, mother? We are forever immortalized in this fucking film. Cover up your gown, kiddo. Yeah. His his fashion sense is just off the charts phenomenal. My parents want me to be a star so much, even at the expense of my childhood. Look at those eyes, man. That's probably what got him all the work he got. I guarantee he got this role because of his eyes. Soulless, evil eye. Oh, because they're cute. I got you. I got you. Fun, fun fact. Uh, Slash Tracks fun fact. His eyes actually weren't soulless before the first day on this set. He was actually a normal, healthy boy. And then when he realized... What he was actually going to have to film, the soul was sucked out of his body. And what was left of it was, was ripped out when he realized his parents were living vicariously through him. Yep. Man, Alice dresses him, in, you know, very well. Like the finest russet potato sack money can buy. Yes. Uh, you know, they were using, he did have a secondhand uh, barrel, but uh, she's moving on up. She's getting in better stuff nowadays. <laughs> One of his parents like gave him some toys and said, "Here's your pay for the movie." Yeah, they're like, "We're gonna spend all your money you made." I mean, we're gonna play with the toys you got. 
we're, they're gonna, we're doing the movie. <laughs> so they're going to Gary Coleman him, huh? What you talking about, man? Yeah, what you talking about, Alex? No, that's what all babies are called. Yes, you dipshit. Why would I call my baby Jacob if I hadn't named him that? He some stupid questions, Mark. Maybe I ought to just go back in there. Tell me some more about the baby. Yeah. Will you tell me about Freddy again? I'm, I'm, I'm really tired. <laughs> I could go for a nice snooze. Okay, Alice. I mean, I, I really don't know what else to say because I really didn't expect to be alive this far into the movie. Yeah, and Alice, I don't want to be a dick, but I'm tired of talking to you about this. I don't speak crazy, okay? I've got some more guts and blood to go draw. I think Lark Voorhees was initially cast for this role, uh, but she wanted too much money, so they cast this gal. Because, you know, Lark Voorhees was, you know, a candy striper, you know, on Stand by the Bell. Lisa Turley, yes, and they look a lot alike, you know. It's the 80s. Get it? Yes, I get it. You got me with it. This is like the, uh, the second-rate version of, uh, you know, Lark Voorhees here. Uh-oh, another opening sex scene coming up. There's yeah, a belly button. He starts rubbing more of that oil and stuff, like, on body parts that he's not going to, like, ultrasound. <laughs> he's just a dirt bag. <laughs> Why are you rubbing that on my inner thighs, Doctor? He turns the screen on, and instead of an ultrasound, it's like him test playing Mario Brothers 3. <laughs> uh, you know, I apologize. Uh, we don't normally do this, but uh, I'm going to have to do an ultrasound of your breasts. <laughs> I just have to be sure that the baby's not dreaming, okay, Alice? I did find a third warp whistle, though. I also found a tanuki suit and a frog suit. Make sure you hold on to those until you get to World 4 and 5. If you have I don't any want to pee- use them in the first couple worlds. If you have any P-Wings, you're definitely going to need to tuck those away for World 8. So, what doctor sees a patient the same day that they make an appointment? I, this is an incredible, <laughs> right? this is an incredible doctor. Fast, got her in the same day, like like within the same hour. If they really wanted to make this movie scary, they should have showed how long she had to wait in the waiting room to get in to see this guy. They're here. The, the director's like, more tight butthole shots. More in inner workings of the butthole. Tighter, tighter. Sir, director, sir, I don't think you know how reproduction works. <laughs> oh, everybody knows babies come from buttholes. What are you talking about? We gotta get this movie made. Wow, that that is the world's largest uh, umbilical cord. See that thing? That's the one that everybody keeps going down, apparently. That is gigantic. Okay, this whole this whole scene. You think that I look like a giant baby? Josh, thank God that that umbilical cord was large enough for those souls to be sucked down because, you know, otherwise, if it was even a little bit smaller, you know, those souls would have stayed, you know, where they belong, you know. Why does Greta's soul have to have the stuffed mouth thing? You know, I mean, shit. Give her a little bit of a break. Yeah, she's forever stuck with that. Oh, boy. <laughs> you are what you eat. Drink. He's like, get this crazy bitch out of my office, Yvonne. I've got to fly to California and host a video game championships. I'll bring back a couple copies. Those things are going to be worth a pretty penny one day. Yes, Commissioner Gordon. <laughs> he looked like he was just about to order a pizza, and he was trying to remember his order. <laughs> did, I, did, I, did I want sausage or, or pepperoni? I can't remember. 
he's all nervous, you know, you know, because when people order pizzas, you know, you got to be ready to go. You get nervous a little bit. Alex, we got to talk about this 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 pill problem you got. But I'm so excited. <laughs> so check, excited. I'm so check, scared. Check out that freaking flower pot back or that plant pot. It's legs and shoes in the background there. I thought Mark was standing there for a second <laughs> until you said something. I thought that was Mark. The no, that's the head. that's pretty cool, man. No, that, that's pretty. That's pretty. That's where that's where like a third of the budget went. I so think... far, the budget has gone to the opening scene to pay for the the porno actors, the uh, shitty animation in the refrigerator, and the pant pot. Alice, how would you know that you can't leave town? Have you tried to leave town? And Mark is wearing the most ridiculous vest I've ever seen. Can we just please move on from this? She's not crazy, Yvonne. She told me that guns and bullets are not blood and gore. This is kind of crazy that they're all still hanging out so... Uh, like graduation just happened. Like there were a lot of friends I had that I had not, I like, I have not seen them since the day I graduated. Just never saw them again. Well, they probably got picked up right after graduation by a scout, man. Yeah, they were <laughs> playing pro pro sports now. Yeah. Come point. to think of it. They all were incredible football players. Yep. Yep. They, they got picked up. They got snagged at graduation. Hey, I apologize Whoa. for my for my tardiness. Ah, oh, damn it! What's wrong? I wanted to have a kid with you, Alice. <laughs> no, Greta's, just... <laughs> de- Greta's dead. I might as well, you know, ask you out. Dad, you don't drink anymore. I don't care if it is cocktail hour. <laughs> Not coming down to make you a drink. It's Kate McKinnon's mother. She said Mr. Jordan and I. So, wait a second. So, she's been dating their son, but she's not on first name basis with the parents of him? No, no. I mean, she's pregnant, so she's like the worst girlfriend ever, apparently. If they were on first name basis, that's gone out the window now that they found out what's going on. Dan's mom looks like a really old, old version of Tina Yothers. I was thinking Kate McKinnon, like an old version of Kate McKinnon, but yeah. No, if this was Kate McKinnon, she'd be trying to steal the scene here uh, with some (laughs) zany improv. No, that's Kristen Wiig. Uh, Kristen Wiig's the one that does the hardcore, her and Melissa McCarthy fighting over shit in Ghostbusters. Oh, man. <laughs> Don't even bring that fucking movie up. That was one of the... That, that movie was like a mere three and a half hours long, too. That year. was... We had to do the extended cut. We had to. Master Evil. That's when he remember... was sending his stuff to us anonymously. Yeah, do you remember how hard it was to sync that up together? Yes. yes. Oh, my gosh. We, we did half that episode and lost it and then had to do it again. Master Evil was going hard in the paint that day. <laughs> and he told me that I'm not Michael McCain. <laughs> he does look like Squiggy. Or is it Laney? I, it's Squiggy, right? Yeah. He's all sad. I really thought I was him. I don't want your life. They couldn't take the baby well, away because the, the doctor, so. the doctor had a concern that she asked if babies dream or not. That that, that wouldn't hold up in court. <laughs> I mean, get the hell out of here, Dan's parents. The judge your... would be like, "I think I heard somewhere that they dream in black and white or something." <laughs> the judge is like, "Thank you for sufficiently wasting my time. Get the hell out of my 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 courtroom." It sounds like something you'd say to like. Uh... That'll happen when babies dream. <laughs> yeah. You know, when, when pigs fly. Babies will dream one day. I like a rock. Yeah. 
I know all this because I went and begged other people to tell me about Freddy. And they did it. Yeah. Boy, this guy, like, there's no internet back then when this movie was made. So, you know, he had to find all this out from the card catalog. <laughs> Very the impressive. system. Yeah. He actually had to go to the card catalog, look up, you know, Springwood Gazette or whatever, and then look up K for Kruger. He's like, I just read this book, and uh, I don't remember where I put it, even though I just read it before you came over. It's like, damn it, Alice, the encyclopedia salesman showed up, and I bought, the, the only the only one I bought was K. Why did the door slam? Really? You, you don't think it was some other dream demon that slammed the door in the dream to stop you from finding out how to destroy him? Yeah. You sure? The dream demon union uh, found out that like people are finding out too much about Freddy, and they're like, you idiot! You're letting too much information about you know your back pass. You know this could come back to affect all of us, Freddy. Uh, you're really fucking things up for us here. You know, down to the union all dream demon uh, you know group here. Oh, I'm so drunk. Oh, my God. <laughs> no, I'm drunk as shit, woman. Felix Steve or Steelix or whatever his name is. He yeah, because, you know, tonight. every swimming pool has, uh, you know, high school lockers in the lock, you know, in the locker room like that. They don't have, you know, cages and like little bins like every other swimming pool in the world. Right. <laughs> You know how rusty those lockers would get if they were constantly in a wet environment like that? Just the water in the air. <laughs> Seriously, have you ever went to a swimming pool locker room like to get dressed and stuff? It's hotter than hell in there, and you can feel is. the moisture in the air. You know, in the book, in the original script for this, before they started changing stuff, she was supposed to, like, uh, be up on a high dive, and Freddy throws her off into the pool... And uh, the the pool sucks her down into a little hole, and it was like a whole thing with the swimming pool. And well, uh, yeah, they probably couldn't afford to do that. Also, didn't you say this was the lowest budget of the yes, series yes, at this point? Yes, yes. Which is kind of ironic that you say that it was the lowest budget because Dream Master, the the previous film, was the highest grossing movie in the franchise to this point. No, this this one just had the lowest budget. They were all like independent films. Well, I know that, but they had what I mean is they had extra money because they made uh, a lot of yeah, money yeah, to use. Yeah. So what the hell are they doing with that extra money? They're like, <laughs> they're like, we're just going to use it to make shocker. hush money. Hush yeah. money. <laughs> we're going to make some other shitty horror movies of 1989. Paying for uh, psychiatric care for the people that were in the previous mo- uh, movie. Well, that's a noise you hear at every poll. Nothing to be alarmed about. Just put yourself in her shoes for, like, literally, like, just pretend that's real. You know how terrifying that would be if you were alone in the pool and you heard that? I know, and she's still just going to go swimming. I'm terrified of the high dive without a dream demon stalking me uh, while I'm going up to the top of a high dive. I think they kept part of it. They just, a big part of it got cut out. Like, all the lines in the pool turned into blades on his glove and stuff like that. Oh, That'd be oh. kind of cool. What's up with all the claymation in this town? Why are they you went, looking down? The claws are up above you. They <laughs> went heavy with the stop-go animation for this film. That's like the second or third time we've seen that. Oh, she's going to like... Oh, that's going to that's gonna hurt when she lands on her back in that pool. That's all I know. Let's see if she sticks to landing. Oh, her toenail was up just a little bit, Josh. I'm gonna have to give it a nine. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna give it an eight point five. Yeah, I'm, you know what? We should uh, give it a scale of Freddy claws. I'm gonna give it three and a half Freddy Freddy bladed fingers. I'd give it four, but uh, yeah. The scream just wasn't very realistic. The last time I did that to somebody, they screamed a lot louder. Why Why does this water in this, like, boiler room hell sauna look like the stuff that Edmund drank 
when he was eating Turkish delight with the with the witch in Narnia. <laughs> it's like bubbling and warm. It looks exactly <laughs> like what was in that goblet. That was a pretty good line. I'll take a drink. <laughs> Freddie, when are you going to learn that people shove stuff in your mouth all the time and just try a helmet or something? My only weakness, dry crippling. areas. <laughs> My only weakness, crippling social anxiety. <laughs> He's oh, like, no. I can't leave. Two victims. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, two victims at once is too too big of a group. Yeah, they Freddy. might they might take me. Fuck you! This would have never happened to me if I hadn't met you. Just, just get the fuck out of my life. Yeah, leave me alone forever. Call me never again. I will never see you ever again. Nightmare from Hell. That's just what this movie is. <laughs> no, this isn't some big muscled up dude. This is going to be Freddy, guys. Yeah, come on. We know Mark. Hey, first of all, we know Mark's not reading. We know Mark's look like in those comic books are pictures of oiled up dudes. Come on, we 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 know it. Come on. I didn't know I had this comic book. That looks like me. Oh no, okay. it's happening again! That's pretty good. That was very good. Okay, we want to take the comic book guy and pull him into a comic book. So what should we make the area look like? And just take a bunch of shelves and shit and just knock them over. kind of interesting how like i i'm not sure exactly what they're going for how he's he's full of color in like a colorless area probably just the setup for the kill i'm sure ready on a fucking skateboard josh that's a drink yeah eat my shorts mark Ooh, my only weakness, crossed arms. Hey, that's enough to take out the super shredder. <laughs> but they are stupid. They are babies. <laughs> Up to this point, Mark's got to be thinking, wow, this guy really sucks at killing people. I think, well, no, Mark's probably thinking this is, like, not at all how I thought after graduation would go. <laughs> He's like, oh my god, I got bullets all in my hair. Sorry, blood and gore, the opposite. You're crazy! It's about to get real, Josh. Did you say limp dick or lip dick? I couldn't understand you. <laughs> Shoot me with all that blood and gore. <laughs> they loaded Freddy. The squibs are loaded with the <laughs> with the clearance uh, fireworks. <laughs> <laughs> the boost, like the little poppets yes. that, that you hit, that you throw at the ground, they're like pop, poppity pop pop. Yeah, forget they're out there. Step on one later. Oh yeah, it's definitely Freddie, Robert England. There, that's the uh, same uh, actor who played Dan's body in the opening scene. <laughs> I'm so really? serious. It is. He did double duty. Oh wow. Oh, Josh, close your eyes if you can't handle gore. Oh, God. Oh, God. God. I'm going to be sick. Yeah, oh, the color's your... draining out of me right oh, now. It looks like a zebra. It looks like fruit-striped gum, for the love of God. 
Oh my God! How did they get? How did they? How is this not rated X, man? I don't know. Oh my God, I don't know. You and I are both stumped. Uh, oh, this is sickening. So he should be in like in a million pieces, right? Not. Oh, he, he should have like it should be worse than Johnny Depp getting sucked in the bed. His body, like he should have body parts all over that fucking factory. Well, well Alice, how do you... up a second too late. Yeah, Alice, how do you feel oh. about yourself? You've almost completely decimated a, an entire another friend group. How do you feel? You feel pretty good about yourself because you're a major fuck up. Oh, whoa, whoa, Greta. Or not Greta. Yvonne was uh, asleep in that hot tub for all of March stream, too. She didn't wake up at the point where, you know, you're not crazy. Uh, She's lucky she didn't die from falling asleep in the hot tub. I know. That's what I'm saying. She's she's slept under the water through March stream. No Freddy needed at that point. Slug bug, bitch. Oh, bitch, you know. You're right. I'm fucking with you. Come on, he's inside. Yeah, he's inside. (laughs) The only friend she has left besides Yvonne and her friend group is the frickin' flower pot that's legs and shoes and in her bedroom. Now we know what happened to Jesse after part two. He's only half the man he used to be. Yeah, that's Je- that's Jesse. <laughs> Speaking of Jesse, Mark Patton hasn't been on any social media forever. It's been months and months. It was like it was almost like he was doing it just to promote the documentary Screen yeah. Queen, and then that's it. He's gone again. Alice, drive to my uterus. Hurry. Check on Jacob. Oh, and back at the back at the back at the painting in the backdrop. I, I'm I'm surprised we haven't seen the Batman signal uh, signal behind that. It looks like Arkham. It is Arkham. She runs like through the picture. <laughs> yeah, she's just running up to nothing right there. It's like a high school play when they just paint the back of the captain's yes. wall. You got that one tower that we keep seeing. Yeah. <laughs> the one three-dimensional part of the building is just that one part of the tower there. And that building is in need of a leaf blower so bad. Well, that truck driver was doubling as landscaper for this place, too, but he's traumatized <laughs> after the Dan incident. They must have not had a very big budget for this film. They have multiple double-duty actors. Like, Alice played two roles. Uh, Robert England's played three roles. Uh, the guy who was having sex as Dan also played Super Freddy. <laughs> Wait, I thought that Super Freddy was like a big muscled up uh, African American. No, it's a white dude. Oh, okay. My bad. My bad. My bad, Dom. I'm sorry. Yeah, my blunder, son. Quit messing with these lamps, man. I mean, she hasn't even like. Okay, she's she's challenging Freddy again. This is like the end of the movie here. Uh, she doesn't even have her like zapper from Dream Master. She doesn't have her bitching like you know uh, metal cuffs on her wrist. She, she doesn't have her leather jacket on. She's in trouble. Yeah, well, I mean, she should have like a a stolen set of motorcycle keys in one pocket. You know, <laughs> she should <laughs> a, at a least have of, a bottle of diet pills in her other pocket. Yeah, comic, she should have least comic book. <laughs> two or three hot dogs, you know, from the Craven. Maybe a bag of carrots and a dozen eggs. <laughs> Freddie doesn't live on, you know, murder alone. He's got to eat every once in a while. She could distract him with some of those exquisite hot dogs. And An old size uh, hospital robe. Yeah, and then her friend could shove that piece of rebar right through his head. Yeah, because that that always works. Freddy's like, God damn it, cut off on the wrong elevator. That's the tool she brought. To, she didn't even bring a tool. She just found it there. She That's her big plan as well. I'll probably find something that I can like punch one of those bricks out with. 
Good Just call. Just enough to shut my flashlight in. Yeah, the first brick she opens up turns out to be the one she needed to open up. Oh. Oh, my gosh. She got two with it. Oh, his his spidey senses are tingling. All right, Robert, we need you to walk down this hallway with your hands sticking out like you got something stuck up your ass and, and growl. Yeah, he's doing that Robert England gunslinger thing that he always talks about with his with his hand, where he like kind of slinks one shoulder down. Yeah. Wait, he just leaves his uh, dream props laying around. <laughs> he doesn't spawn those to every <laughs> other dream. Where did I? Dream zone, there's like dream storage there in the in the dreamscape. He, dude, he has all of his crap underneath the wrestling ring. He's got his kendo sticks. He's got his chairs. He's got a barbed wire baseball bat. He's got the freaking baby carriage from hell. Oh, he's about to be the, the bastard bitch of 100 maniacs. Like, oh my god. You look like your mama. Okay, this is like the third time his arm has been ripped off. Like, we've his got arm- the prosthetic. Let's fucking use it. Yeah, he got his arm ripped off in the car, the truck with Dan. Oh, poor spiders. <laughs> I think those spiders have green and red on them, by the way. They probably spray painted them. Oh, yeah, those babies. spiders. See, look, there's red on it. Got red on you. Tarantulas, I don't... I don't think tarantulas are even uh, poisonous. Sorry, we got to get out of here. David Bowie's due to show up in a minute. We're filming Labyrinth here. David Bowie starts walking down the spiral staircase. <laughs> Take my strong hand, son. Take my strong hand. That fucking stroller, man. It just does not stay away, does it? So they, uh, they really... Like, Freddy, I feel like every scene he's in, he's really well lit. They don't hide him at all in this film. He's kind of got the Morticia thing going on with his face, you know? It's always lit up. Yeah, he's, it's extremely, like, here's Freddy, here you go. No mystery at all. He, like, if Freddy had sex with somebody based on how they're showing him in this movie, there's no foreplay. Uh, Freddy's going straight in for the kill. <laughs> All right, Dan, your motivation in this scene <laughs> is to uh, just just walk in. You know it's not Dan because his collar's popped. <laughs> exactly. It's too cool to be Dan. Yeah. Hey! Let's walk on the stained glass, son. This is definitely safe. We'll be Dang. safe on top of the stained glass. What happened to the stained glass, uh, it, like, businesses when pizza places and churches stopped using it? <laughs> it like, oh, God, God damn it. We knew it was coming. Yeah, like, we at some point, coming. you know, this is not going to, you know, be as trendy as it used to be. But how? Yeah, uh, you're not really... We're having a circular conversation here. Um, I'm your mother. Will you please tell me, you psycho kid? If not, I'm going to feed you to an angry, child-hating paleontologist in a few years. Oh, man. Oh, it's the evil dead. That's what... Listen, she shouldn't... She, she ate Taco Bell before bedtime, and this is what happened. Yep. Yep, you should never trust the DoorDash. 
it's like the Cenobite from like Hellraiser 16. So she's dead. He just yeah, ripped yeah. through her body. She's dead, right. right? He does stuff to you in your dream. You're dead. Well, now so Jacob's dead. dead. Okay, she's dead. They're both dead. I'm gonna, I'm gonna hurt you so bad, Alice. You're gonna turn into really bad stop motion animation. Okay, here's another thing. Uh, Mary Helena is up here. Uh, Eating right? pigeons. Well, no, like, she's been able to, like, visit people in Dream Warriors and stuff. Why is she stuck in the tower now? It's dinner time. She eats the pigeons in there. It's almost like the guy who directed this film and wrote this film didn't watch the previous installments. Oh. There's no way. Thank you for allowing me to jump scare you. I've been waiting a thousand years to... To give a jump scare like that. Now I'm uh, free. How are there that many leaves inside of a closed uh, off tower? Like, where are the leaves blowing in from? The birds are on a really bad diet. <laughs> Shit, now leaves all day leaves. Long. <laughs> It's not leaves. <laughs> Even Jacob at this point is like, is this still going on? She's wrestling with Freddy more than I wrestle with a turd sometimes. Right. Should we give the kid a voice changer? Nah, nah, just let him let him come up with his own scary voice. Okay, I'm gonna sound like this. Teach me, Alex. Teach me. So he just kind of pushes her dead. So is Alice dead? Like she should be dead. Well, Freddy, we're out of time. He looked like a what garbage sale kid. What just happened? I don't even know what the fuck just happened. Is that the vomit from the first of the movie? Is this going full circle? Stuff that bubbled up in the bathtub? He vomited out, like, the power that he gave him from, like, him using him in Alice's womb, I guess. But why would his own power kill him? Why would a dog pee in fire bring him back to life? I don't fucking know. Yeah. I stopped asking questions after the second one. Why is Mark still dressed as the Phantom Prowler as a soul? I yeah, their souls are like all fucked up. Why is Dan's soul still messed up as Motorcycle Man? Oh my aching back! Whoa, he had the baby inside of him the whole time. I guess. It was the baby the whole time. Let's just see who you really are, really? mister. <laughs> it's Mini-Me. Hmm. Taking you to the proper authorities. Oh, God. She had Taco Bell, too, apparently. <laughs> that, that looked more like Chipotle. <laughs> she that just got a... done she's like the afternoon after having Chipotle and Taco yeah. Bell she's like oh <laughs> thank god oh uh, sister poor sister's having the Chipotle bubble gut right now she's got bigger <laughs> problems than Freddy she's got to find a bathroom immediately Alice just got off came out of the bathroom afterwards Alice take your baby and leave I've got to poop <laughs> Oh my god, I'm not eating at that restaurant. Yeah, that looks exactly like how every poor soul looks after Chipotle. Right. Her asshole is blowing those doors off, man. She had the special. <laughs> Spaceballs reference. I'm your grandpa and I'm an alcoholic <laughs> child abusing piece of shit. How are you doing? I'm going to name you Dan. He actually is one of the rare parents in this franchise that has a full character arc. He he <laughs> he wasn't a shitbag the entire time. Not the whole time, no. Why does he get a story in a background? 
Oh, you're gonna grow up to be such an ugly fucking kid. Yeah, those you are gonna be detestable, like just disgusting. It's a good thing that we defeated Freddy for sure, and there's no way he'll ever come back, and we're all going to live happily ever after. (laughs) It's so great that that happened, right, guys? Right? Yeah? Hey, did did you notice that their blanket's green and red? I just noticed that. Oh, so glad everything ended good in the... Oh, shit. Dude, the most dangerous thing is not Freddy on this playground. It's that freaking, like, makeshift eagle's nest right there. (laughs) Kids used to like hang off those at my grade school and break their arm every year. Are the cre- are the credits laughing at us for watching the movie? Oh, they're going hard with the nineteen eighties rap <laughs> on in a horror movie trend here. Well, Slash Track season two, man. I'm, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, this this is I'm excited that we're back. Yeah, if we're gonna have to do it. At least have fun doing it. Hey, the Mario Roberts was in this one. Lynn Salvatore. Alice's body doubles. as Her body doubles as Cherry Romans and Christy Dante. You think the production supervisor's real name is Cool Martyr? Oh, yeah. Sorry, that's a Kool-Aid crack there. My bad. Reginald. Reginald Lake. So, uh, do you, have, <laughs> you yeah. got any? You got any idea of like the next film Master Evil is going to make us watch? You got any any clue? I don't know. Uh, the letter, the text he sent said he wasn't going to give us too many hints anymore. Did you have Chipotle? You all right there? <laughs> you got some bubble. Yeah, the movie. I, the mo- I'm starting to like have a little uh, upchuck of the movie here. It's, You're having a reaction. Yeah, you're having a violent It's not reaction. staying down. Oh, man. It's way down in my bullets. I mean, my guts. It's... <laughs> yeah. Oh, the painter. See? That's the people that did the chalk in the beginning. Yeah, Costume so Fre- designer? Okay. Freddy, uh, I don't know if you remember, but Freddy had a couple songs written about him in the 80s, uh, rap songs. He had Nightmare on My Street by Will Smith and DJ Jazzy Jeff. And he didn't uh, have permission the- for that. Yeah, they couldn't use it, so then they did the Fat Boys uh, yeah. Freddy song. But uh, I was going to say, like, he, he, Robert England did a bunch of rap in the 80s. Oh, can't believe I, that noise. Um, okay, well, he's calling. Let's uh, get back to Master Evil. Let's do it. We're going to do it at some point. Here we go. I hope you two are ready for another season of the worst horror movies ever. This is only the beginning. (laughs) Seriously, Master Evil, why do you keep doing this shit? Wasn't it like an experiment or something in the beginning? Can't you find a couple new lab rants at this point? I mean, why does it always have to be us? That is how we usually do it. But once I saw how happy my little bowl of sunshine was when he was playing with you two, I just couldn't allow him to release you two back to your normal lives with your $50,000 and hush money. It's hard for him to make new friends, and you three just seem so happy together that I decided you, I couldn't separate you all. It would be too hard on my baby. Your baby? Wait, wait, did I hear, I heard $50,000. What's, what's up with that? That's what I heard, too. Can, can we just get to 50K now? Like, I'll watch some more shitty movies right now for 50K. Right yeah. now. Stop you up. No, silly. That would be wrong. It is supposed to be hush money, after all. And you are still our bitches. Uh, ma! I mean, I mean, you are still our guests. You boys have fun. Okay, then. Well, you know what? You got, there's a, when life throws you lemons, make lemonade. We're not in the dark anymore like we were for the past two months, man. Lemonade? Lemons? I think we're a little bit beyond that. Josh, it's not that great when the only thing we have to light our rooms is these shitty movies. And you know what? I can't handle this anymore. 
Uh, that movie was horrible, and I don't even want to know what the hell we're watching next time. So you two go ahead and talk amongst yourselves. I'm going to bed. I'm done with this. I'm done with this shit. Peace out. Dude. Oh, very well. In that case, I will tell Josh what you'll be watching next time. Oh, joy. Here we go. What shit do we have to sit through now? You will be watching. Oh, thank goodness. Uh, it's you. Thank God. Did you reconsider? No, but I do gotta apologize, Alex. I've recently learned just how bad you have it, and I am sincerely sorry. What do you mean that you've recently learned just how bad I have it? Oh, God! Help me, bitch! I mean, help me, Alex! Okay, boys. It's time for your movie. A shitty remake that took all the things great about the franchise and totally chewed them up, digested them, and shot them out into the big streaming pile of a nightmare on Elm Street 2010. <laughs> oh! 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 oh no! Oh, Josh, what up, Alex Slash Track? What's going on? I'm busting in the damn head. So you guys.